Hey guys, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and here's a quick video that will show you how to fix the widget binding failure error in third-party launchers such as ATV Launcher or Wolf Launcher. Now I'm on my on Google TV 4K streaming box and I'm using ATV Launcher Pro. Refer to the link in the video description that shows how I set this up as my default launcher. It also shows how to install the free downloader app and allow for unknown sources. Now when I press the up button on my remote a few times and then click the select button on my remote, it allows me to select a widget. Now the one that I'm interested in is my Surfshark VPN widget because this will show me whether or not my VPN is connected. It's gonna be front and center at the top of my screen at all times. Now you'll see when I push this, it doesn't add the widget to the home screen. I get widget binding failure. Now you'll see towards the bottom of the screen, it gives us an ADB shell command that we can use to make this work properly. Now there's one for ATV Launcher free version and one for ATV Launcher pro version. I paid $2.99 for this application, so I'm using the pro version and I'm going to take a picture of this screen with the camera app on my phone. You can also write this down if you'd like. You just need to make sure that you get the proper code string for whichever version of ATV Launcher you are using, or if you're using Wolf Launcher, same applies. Now, if you're writing this down, you need to make sure that you're paying attention to where the spaces are, and also you don't miss any of those special characters, such as the dashes or periods. Okay, I'm going to click the close button. Okay, for this to work properly, we need to make sure that USB debugging is enabled. You should have already done that if you followed the previous video that I'm linking to in the video description. But let's check anyway. You can highlight any of the shortcuts, hold down on the select button of the remote, go into Android settings. I'm going to go into system. And developer options is in this list. Now, if for some reason this is not showing for you, I will show you how to enable it. I'm going to turn off developer options. And what you want to do is go into about, hover over Android TV OS build and click that seven times. It says you are now a developer back button on the remote. I'm going to go into developer options. Highlight USB debugging and click that to enable it and then click OK. And now I'm going to go back to the home screen. And now I'm going to launch downloader. I'm going to push the up button on my remote, put the cursor in the URL box. Click the select button on the remote to open the keyboard and I'm going to type in two five, zero, nine, three, one. This is going to open the Troy Point toolbox that will allow us to install the ADB shell application that we need to issue that command we just saw on the previous screen. Okay, I'm going to scroll down until I see ADB shell. And here it is, remote ADB app. I'm going to click download, install. I'm going to click done. Whenever I download anything through downloader, I always delete the installation file. There's no need to leave these on the device. Now, one thing I do suggest is marking this page as a favorite. We have dozens of free applications that aren't available within the Amazon App Store or Google Play. And many Troy Point tutorials use this toolbox. To add this as a favorite, simply hold down on the select button of the remote for a few seconds. Click add current page to favorites. Back button, get rid of the virtual keyboard. Move down, click save. Now in the future, when you come in here, you go to favorites. Click Troy Point toolbox. It loads the page immediately without waiting for the five second load screen with the ads. Okay, back to the home screen. I'm going to launch Remote ADB Shell. Click OK. OK, and now I'm going to type in the local IP address for Android. You can use the same address. It's 
dot zero dot zero dot one back button to get rid of the keyboard this can remain the same five 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 connect click the checkbox and then click allow and now I'm going to type in the code string exactly how it was displayed earlier in this tutorial Now you'll see after I hit the space bar, it auto corrected and we don't want that. So I'm going to come up, hit the X and when I hit the X, it goes back to what it was. I'm going to hit the space again and now I can continue typing. Just hit the space bar again and it tried to auto correct. So I'm going to hit X and space bar. Okay, now I'm going to double check exactly what I just typed in. And again, like I mentioned earlier, we're paying attention to the spaces and special characters in the code string. Now, if something does need to be corrected, you can use these arrows right here to go back and forth to make the corrections. One small mistake, this will not work. Okay, everything looks good. I'm gonna hit the check mark on the keyboard and it looks like it has issued the code. Let's check this out now. I'm gonna go back to the home screen, move all the way to the top, click the select button on my remote, and now I'm going to choose the Surfshark widget. And as you can see, it worked. So now I have a handy VPN widget that shows what my current IP address is, and it also lets me know whether or not I'm currently connected. And it says, I am not connected. Let's go into Surfshark and connect. Okay, my IP address has changed. I'm going to go back to the home screen. Okay, you'll see that the widget has updated. It's showing that it's connected. And it's also providing my new IP address. Now, once you install additional applications through the Google Play Store, some of them do come with widgets. So you can definitely add those into these launchers that support them. There's also options to install widgets separately directly through Google Play Store as well. I hope you found this video helpful. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified whenever I drop new tutorials like this in the future. As always, thank you very much for following Troy Point. Have a wonderful day.